YouTubers, Mike Boards of Mike Boards channel. Today we're going to change a lid switch on a washing machine. Most common symptom that you can tell that your lid switch is faulted out and needs to be replaced is it gets to the rinse portion of the cycle and then it stops. It doesn't actually rinse and drain. So we are going to do the step by step. It's very easy and inexpensive. Step one, safety first, always. Make sure you unplug the washing machine. Free up any electricity feeding into the machine. Grab a Phillips screwdriver on the back side of this top. You will see a Phillips screw, one on this side, one on the opposite side. Go ahead and unscrew those, take them off. Go ahead and remove these. I'm using a quarter inch ratchet. Once you do that, you're gonna have access to pull this carefully without harming anything. There are a lot of electrical wiring back here. You'll be able to lift this up off. And there's the lid switch. As you can see, the electrical connection here will go ahead and remove this as well as the ground. That should be pretty darn easy. I used a 5 16 socket on the ground and the electrical wiring is connected. It should be able to just smoothly come right out. And I will compare it to the new one. As you can see, they are basically exactly the same. I went ahead and removed the shell to the washing machine because I do want to give you a much better look at what we are actually going to loop this part of the lid switch on. So again, this is going to go in as such. And on the bottom side, you've got that hook. And as you can notice here, just by raising the actual lid, you're going to be able to position this in its proper hook there. And that, ultimately, when it's closed, is what's going to engage this switch. You don't actually have to remove the shell. I just wanted to do that to give you a better view of it. I have the shell back on. And be careful, again, as you maneuver all this electrical wiring, you do not want to harm any of it. Reconnect the ground right there, and the electrical wiring here will go into place. All connected now, and carefully you'll loop this back around, put this casing back on. On the back side, go ahead and tighten that bolt on each top portion, and go ahead and get these screws, Phillips screws, back into place. Once you've got everything back on and secure, double check everything just to make sure. Go ahead and plug the washer back in run a cycle and if you raise and lower your lid you can hear that click okay sure hope this helps like the video subscribe to the channel if you subscribe that would be sweet every video we upload you'll be notified you'll be able to stay in tune with us and watch our videos as they come thanks again